Um, so can you tell me in the audience what exactly a county assessor does? Sure. So the county assessor is the person that sends you your bill for your property taxes. So they are the, uh, in most places, the local entity that is tasked with in, um, enforcing the uh, property tax laws. And so they will send you a bill every year um, based on their assessment of what your property is worth. And then you pay a millage rate or a tax rate uh, in accordance with all the various pots of money that are getting money from that. So property taxes in Oklahoma go to fund schools, libraries, the county, um, mostly schools, but um, all sorts of different things, career tech uh, and, and bonds, you know, like that the county and schools uh, sell. So, you know, we get, I think we're all very aware of like the bill we get because you get that every single year and you, you like have to pay that. Um, but I think we're less aware of kind of where all that money goes. And that's part of the central focus of my campaign is, is around transparency and, and helping taxpayers and voters understand the importance of it and if it's not going right how we could do better all right um <clears throat> yeah because the reason why i asked is because a lot of people don't know what those positions do or that those are even positions that exist yes um <laughs> and um even myself i barely know what some of these positions are and do um and I know the names of the people, but I don't really know, you know, how I mean, those things work. Yeah. Yeah. So like county government is like kind of the middle child of, of government in Oklahoma. You know, you've got local government, which is your municipalities, which people, you know, aren't as clued into as sometimes I would like to see, but they're much more clued into it. Like most people kind of know who David Holt is in Oklahoma City. A lot of people who are engaged in politics know who their mayor is. Then, of course, you got the state level, which is your reps, your governor, your, you know, state superintendent, which obviously we're hearing a lot about that right now in 2022. But the county is kind of the middle middle child, you know, like they're kind of the forgotten uh, person. And so that level of government gets a little less scrutiny, but it's still very important because they provide a lot of services to like unincorporated areas. So parts of the county that don't have a municipality, um, but they also are directly responsible for collecting um Tax it, taxes. They also do a lot around county jails, county sheriffs. Um, so collecting fines and fees, they, they really are like, they handle a lot of money. And so to me, they're a great place to be like a watchdog for taxpayers, you know, to really explain to people what the issues are um, locally, because they're sending money to the state, to the cities, to kind of everyone. And so they have a really good position to like, keep track of things and, and tell you where your money's heading and if if that's good or bad yeah so let's see so the county assessor they would know so you said property taxes so like they would know which school district gets what money from each like neighborhood or household that kind of a thing yes they have tables all over their website that you can drill down into if you're really into that stuff but like basically where it shows like you know if you're you're in Oklahoma State Public Schools and you know so your property tax can be different than somebody who might be in Putnam City Schools or in Crooked Oak or because they all have different they're bonding at different times they're bonding for different rates um you know, Oklahoma has relatively low property taxes overall. So, I mean, there's pretty strict limits on how much taxpayers can be paying for property tax. Um, but yeah, I mean, you you can go and see like where all the property taxes kind of go. It's very buried. It's hard to find. Obviously, it's not put in a way that I think most people easily understand it, um, which is what I'd like to improve upon if, if I get elected. Yeah. But so... Anyway, yeah. So curious question, because sure. I'm from Shawnee, Pottawatomie County, where it's kind of easy to figure this out, or at least make assumptions about it. But like, if you're, say, Oklahoma City Public Schools, and so I know that like, there's 
let's just take the high schools. There's several different high schools, but those different high schools have like jurisdictions in terms of who gets to go to those high schools and those jurisdictions change every so often. Um, even though they're within the school district itself. So would that, I'm not even sure if this is like a question you would know or would have to know, but like, say you live in an area that's, let's say, what was the one that they told me? Okay, Northwest Classen and John Marshall, like that area. Because I know some kids have told me that they've like switched had to switch schools or weren't able to go to that high school because the lines changed or whatever so like do when those supposed lines change yes your tax dollars still go to oklahoma city public schools but do they go to that different high school or is that money divvied up in a different way yeah so it's divvied up in a different way so your taxation is by district so like your school district your career tech district your county like those are the kind of the lines that dictate how much or what taxes you pay. The allocation of that tax money then is done at the school level. But, okay. um, but I mean, there is some big um, things you can, you know, ideas you could explain to voters about how, you know, especially in Oklahoma City, how tax incentives kind of mess up the property taxes, or you could compare bonding rates between districts. So like, for example, Oklahoma City is about to go out for a really large school bond because they're significantly under their bonding capacity. Most schools in Oklahoma max it out. That's why if you drive around rural Oklahoma and a lot of different places, schools are some of the nicest buildings in the city or town because they, they're funded off of tax dollars and they get some good assessment and they're, they have some money to build some nice stuff. So they, they invest in their community. Oklahoma city is notorious for not doing that, which is to me a little crazy because I think the voters here definitely support our schools and definitely support spending more on them. I just don't think they understand or know that how kind of bad, bad the issue is or how, how far out of line with the rest of the state we are. Okay. Yeah. Cause for Shawnee so where I live is a different situation because whenever I was growing up I live in a school district that was only a k through eight so when I went to high school we had to transfer into another district right uh, like most of us ended up going to Shawnee but some of us went to Meeker stuff like that so but now we have a high school and we had to vote for the bond for that and we had to I don't remember what how much it was that we had to vote it up in order to get it but you know those types of things are kind of more easier to wrap my head around because it's like okay i know where these districts are i know which ones are the k through eights that kind of thing but then when it comes to oklahoma city it's there's multiple high schools there's multiple middle schools so that was like a curious question i'm not sure if that's completely yeah relevant, no, that, that's like, why your yeah. school board elections are important because that's who decides how resources are divvied up in the community and so um, you know, Oklahoma City has gone through a big reorganization recently that's made it, I think, a little more equitable. But um, that's, again, where your school board elections really matter. You want to get good people on your school board who are looking at, like, you know, do we need some more resources over here for, you know, kids that are having challenges versus, you know, schools that either have, like, a powerful PTA or someone that can raise a lot of money for them. You know, like, you know, we just need to think about those things. Okay. 